Are we ready to begin? Almost. Yes. Someone's not in roll 20, and I don't know if he's back from getting snacks or whatever he's getting. Okay, I am... Um... So is this game, is this session just called Regnus is fucking dead? <laughs> <laughs> that would be rather unlucky considering it's session 13. Yeah. Ooh. It's just called Regnus is fucking dead. That's just it. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Regnus just died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. All right, are we all ready? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yes. Now I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so beginning in three, two, one. So last time we left off, we essentially just had a big old nice miserable trek through rainy and cold weather. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember now. Oh yeah, the giants. With uh, we we found the giants, didn't we? Yeah, the giants playing chess or whatever it was. Yeah, the storm giants playing chess. You guys taking shelter from the cold rain, uh, seeing a couple of dragons flying overhead and stuff like that. Um, Robert, my donut exploded in my bag. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you wake up for another day, um, everything seems fine, except for that it's still raining, and now the cold air has a, a much... It has a bite to it, to where you can actually see your breath in front of you now. And, uh... Mute Who, on the other hand, as you wake up, you definitely feel, like, worse. You don't know if you got the cold, a flu, or something, but you feel, like, utter... Uh, total crap. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> um, you're going to be having disadvantage on all constitution and strength uh, and dexterity. Because you're, you're just feeling sluggish. Or mute. For the rest no. of you, he looks kind of gray. Like, his, his hairs are graying out. 10 out of 10 would not eat. <laughs> hey, you must have been older than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just don't feel my usual self today. Oh, uh, but you know, as you proceed on with your journey, trying to get closer and closer to whole support, um, nothing major actually happens throughout this uh, first day. But as you guys, shit, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> As we should. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> um, as you guys uh, proceed to bunk down for another restful night, each of you have your shifts. Are you guys going to keep the same uh, watches as you've been keeping? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't remember what it was, but sure. It was uh, Alvar, who has run off again, but now it's going to be Kiata by himself. It no, it's Kiata and Mizuki, then Regnus and Tulip, and then Mute in the morning. And I just knocked all of my books over. I thought it was uh, Mute and I. Yes, it was Mute and you. I'm sorry. It was originally Kiata and Alvar. Ah. But you know. That boy has run off somewhere, as he's been Again. doing. Again. Did Regnus run off too? Because he's not here. Like, what's going on? Oh, he's with you at the moment. Um, and he's he's actually, you know, he's still working on that stone. Uh. Oh yeah, that stone that's pissing me off because I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> and you know, as night comes and you know the rain lets up, he kind of like looks up to the night sky, the the, the gray clouds that just kind of like swirl in the night sky blocking out most of the stars and the moon and he just kind of says I should probably get that hunt done and uh 
Tulip, you watch as he, like, takes his pack off. He kind of leaves everything except for he takes with him his crossbow, his spell component pouch, you know. And he looks at you, gives kind of like a half smile. He's like, it shouldn't take too long. Don't die or I'll come back and kill you myself. <laughs> he I'm laughs a little bit. <laughs> he laughs a little bit and is like, ah, don't worry. And then, uh, as he's walking off, and he stops for a moment, he says, and, uh, um, sorry for being an asshole. And then he just keeps going. And then okay. 20 minutes pass, 30 minutes pass, an hour passes, two hours pass. Anxiety! <laughs> And soon it comes to the end of your watch, and uh, Regna still hasn't returned. Oh, oh. Okay. So, what are you going to do? Oh. Panic as a free action. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? Yeah. <laughs> Panic. She, uh, who is the next shift? Uh, Mizuki and Mute. Well, when Mizuki is getting up for a shift, Tulip is going to go over to her and say, um, Regnus went on some type of hunt thing, and he hasn't been back in, like, two hours. I think he's dead. <laughs> I don't. Dead or something worse! I don't think he's dead. <laughs> She's just freaking out. <laughs> she pats her on the head. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> hey, mute! He, she kicks him. <laughs> <laughs> so abusive. Wake up! Oh, I need more sleep. No, wake up right now. You're gonna keep watch while I go find Regnus. Can I come with? <laughs> no, you stay here. I'm coming with. No. I'm coming with! No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Alright, uh... Mute, you uh, drag yourself up and kind of, like, get into position to keep watching. You still feel like complete ass. Yeah. And, uh... But, but, but he is one. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just because he chases after ass doesn't mean he is. There's a huge difference. Uh, but yeah, so as you guys kind of like go off in the direction that uh, Tulip saw Regnus leave in, uh, can I get survival checks from both of you? Oh, shit. Don't die. I gotta pull up my character sheet. It's more of to, like, you know, find his tracks or something. Still don't uh, die. Survival. Otherwise, Kiyot is going to have to ground two more children. <laughs> Survival. Oh. There's a. Yay! Hey! Well, it looks like Mizuki's not getting grounded. <laughs> Point! <laughs> this way! Tulip. Yeah, Tulip's like, I think these are his tracks, and Mizuki, like, sniffs it and is like, I got a scent, and just starts running. <laughs> What? Okay! <laughs> He's my friend! I gotta go find him! I'm having, uh, I'm having issues, and I can't get back to my... Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you guys, uh, Mizuki and uh, Tulip, you go running off. Uh, and you guys, you travel for a good distance. For almost an hour to almost an hour and a half. And then you finally come upon a, uh, where the trees are getting thicker and thicker, and you start entering into a forest that was some distance off from the main road that you guys were on. And then you come to a small clearing where there are four charred corpses on the ground. Oh. Instantly freaking out. Looking There's a body this. off to the side and a pile of ash at its feet. Investigate! Yeah, definitely. Oh, what the fuck? 
<laughs> the dice gods are not with me this day. Dice gods are not with you today. Yeah. Uh, five and a twelve. It. So, uh, on the bright side, um, well, Tulip, you don't really need much investigation to point oh. out the body. That's Fetner. And he currently what? has his left he has his left leg currently torn to shreds. It's still attached, but there's like bone showing and it looks like he got mauled by a wolf or something, and he's got a large deep gash on his left side in his uh in his gut and across his chest, and he's currently laying on the ground. And he's totally dead. No, his chest is rising slowly, so you're Healing! pretty sure Healing! he's still alive. Healing! <laughs> Heal him! Healing him! Alright. Uh, how are you healing him? Healing word. Rise, bitch! Do I, I think I have to click on it. Do I have to click on it? Uh, uh, just roll a 1d4. If you're doing it first level, just 1d4. I'm doing it at second level. Okay, then it's 2d4. All right, eight points of health back to him. So she just starts freaking out. No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> you like run over. It's like you you cast healing word on him, and he Already like coughs for a moment. Cry. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then also he sits up quickly. Ragnus, run! Oh god, that hurts. What happened, please? What happened? Where's Ragnus? I don't know. We're you tell him. us. Oh, he like leans back down. So I'm, oh, I'm still hurt. Um, I I saw Regnus talking with this one man. I I was coming back from my hunt, and he like thinks for a moment. I don't. I'm not really sure what they said to each other. But then they started fighting, and werewolves. And I'm thinking some sort of undead, bitey people just showed up. And they all started ganging up on Regnus, so I figured I'd help. I turned one to Ash, and he points at the uh, the pile of gray dust at his feet. Good job, uh, that's not gonna help yeah. you when you're almost dead. Yeah, I was fine up until the guy with the scimitar decided to take a swing at me. Ooh. Oh. Uh, it, where's Regnus, though? Did he get away? I guess so. We gotta, we're trying to find him. Okay. Well, he's clearly not here in the clearing. Uh, you do find a couple of healing potions in the clearing, though. Uh, well, hey! more empty bottles of them. Oh, okay. Uh, so, more than likely he got out alive, quote-unquote. Mm -hmm. uh, With that you, nat 20 survival, do I still have his scent? You do still have his scent, but now you're also detecting multiple other scents. Mmm. Uh, and sniffing at the charred corpses. You're like, mm, those are werewolves. Eh. And the other... Actually, yeah, there's another dead body nearby that's been... It... Actually, no, it turned to dust as well. It's a vampire, or a vampire spawn. Ugh. So... Vampires. Yeah. Ew. And then you kind of have a... No, you wouldn't recognize that scent. Never mind. There's another scent of uh, not quite human, but definitely not not werewolf, not vampire, but something different, something painted. But you definitely catch its scent as well. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, and uh, Fetner's going to try and look help you look as he casts healing on himself as well. Okay. I appreciate the save, by the way. Anytime. Uh, let's see. Now, he's able to find some tracks and he leads you further. Uh, he does state that he remembers Regnus casting Fly on himself. Hmm. Uh, so he helps you follow the other tracks. And eventually, the three of you, with your investigations find an imprint on the ground of Regnus and a bit of Regnus's blood on the ground as well. Do do we know that it's his blood or 
you know it's his blood because it's his scent. It looks Fair. like he got stabbed and he fell there from a considerable height. Do we know which direction he went after that? Uh, make another survival check. Uh, Shiloh oh, can make another. You can make another investigation check since you don't have. Uh, wow. Ability to get a scent. Why? Another five. Why? <laughs> Dang. Everything uh, hates me. <laughs> Fetner is not much better at the moment. He's still kind of in pain. Um. I mean, a 14's not that bad. But... No, you're actually able to tell that uh, probably yes. as soon as he landed, he got mobbed by the other sense. The other sense. Like, they uh... all and got him. And then they start heading off in kind of a northeastern direction. Go. Going, yeah. Alright, but it, it goes a far, far distance. And as you follow it, you realize you're getting way, way farther from the rest of the group. Can't, do we know where we are on the map? Compared to our group? Yeah. Uh, not far enough to be, you know, shown on the map, but you guys uh -huh. are at least at this point about three hours away, and at this point, Kiata, you're awake too. Okay. Kiata's going to not freak out, but he's worried because Tulip hasn't come back. <laughs> and neither has, you know, Regnus or Mizuki. Yeah. I'm sure they're fine. I just need some sleep. He is Do not you... feeling well. Yeah, she's just gonna ask Mute. Do you know where they went? Yeah, they went that way. That's my point. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter which direction I point because I'm just not sure. <laughs> Actually, uh, since it's like still early in the morning. Uh, you, you mind doing a constitution save for me? Alright. Ooh, and since you have disadvantage on that, that's a five. <laughs> uh, as soon as you, like, say that, your stomach just suddenly turns, and you feel like you're about to throw up. Oh. I don't know what's happening, but I'm either about to get superpowers, or a god is mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you sure you just haven't eaten something that didn't quite agree with you? I don't know. I, I ate what everyone else did. Let me let me check in my in my in my pack and see if there's anything that could be causing the problem. Uh, Nothing that would be usual. Just you know. Got an explorer's pack, a bottle of ink, a quill, got uranium, a letter, a small knife. Got some... Wait, just a second. Uranium? <laughs> as, as he pulls out the uranium, you notice that there's a small leak uh, coming out of the container. Just a small little glowy, you know, dotted line. Huh. Need uh, it! <laughs> that would probably be why. Hmm. How much you of this do I have? Do know you're going to have to get rid of that, right? Not really. I, I earned this. Get rid of it. Fine. <laughs> and I, I walk away and I place it by a tree. <laughs> and, I just, <laughs> and then I just come back. <laughs> Did you get rid of it properly? Yeah, yeah I'll, let, I'll let someone else handle it. <laughs> really? You let someone... Yeah, the, the tall guy. 
<laughs> he looks like he's going to handle it really well. There's a bunch of tall guys here. They're really tall. And they're, Wood. They're here. Wood. <laughs> this is because of radiation just poisoning, isn't it? Hey, You're not hey, absolutely talk sure. <laughs> well, don't talk that way either, about you can do a medicine. Uh, either way, I'm going to spend five uh, points to yeah, neutralize one poison or disease affecting mute. All right. Uh, as Kiana puts his hand on you, you do definitely feel better. Not 100%, but you definitely don't feel that nauseous feeling anymore. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. I can, I can stand up straight now. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> but come on. Yes, got- Dad. What's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. (laughs) And... Seems like I have a weird sneeze. (laughs) Uh, So what are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to follow after the tracks of Tulip and uh, Mizuki? Yes. Absolutely. No one else is asleep, right? Huh? No, everyone left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just make sure I got the okay. They left us alone at camp. An old man and a sick cat. Are you bringing Atlas with you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Are they bringing well Atlas with them? Uh, you didn't bring Atlas with you. Atlas what? is... You, you left Atlas and... uh Oh, I forgot what you named the horse. You left them back at camp with everyone else. So... Yeah, I was a- I was asking like out of character if they were gonna bring them with. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't plan to. You guys were just planning to leave your camp behind. Well, I wasn't sure if we were gonna be returning back. Because at the moment, Kiat is just going to look for everyone. He's he doesn't know what's going on. Okay, I can stay behind, and I can look after the camp. All right. Uh, Kiata, how, about how far are you going to look before you make up your make up your mind? Um, he's going to look for a while. All right. All right. So Mizuki and Tulip, you guys follow those tracks with uh, Fentner, and you guys end up going for like another good hour before the tracks all start separating into different directions. Mizuki, do your magic. <laughs> <laughs> Would I do another survival? You can. Hey! Uh, you were certain the one smell that kind of made you feel off, the, the, the one that you couldn't really tell what it was, that one left with uh, Regnus. Yeah. And as you're following it, it starts fading for some reason. Like, he's disappearing. And then as you follow the smell more and more, it just suddenly stops, as well as the footprints. And then there's like a marking, like the ground itself is burned and, sc- and strewn about in one spot. And then the scent disappears. Teleportation. You got a good idea that it might be. Because if it just suddenly stops, what else could it be? Teleportation or a portal? Like he got sucked in last time. (laughs) You were not sure. But you definitely know it stops. We have to save this boy one more time. (laughs) Is this the second time we've had to rescue him from a kidnapper? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, the first one, at least, was a vengeful spirit, so... Uh, Fentner suddenly po- like, pats himself down and realizes, He took my triangle. What, what? triangle? It casted a disintegration ray. <laughs> Come again? The <Yeah. laughs> I, I Before I left Fenner, I bought a triangle from a, from a music store that when you used it, it was a musical triangle, 
and when you used it, it cast Disintegration Ray. Ian? Yes? For, for one not being used to magic, she looks at him, explain what that does. Oh, you remember that pile of ash that was at my feet? Yes. That was a werewolf. Uh-huh. It turned the werewolf into ash. Son of a bitch. Well, it doesn't look like to be any ash right here. No, but I'm a little worried considering that I did not know how powerful that thing was when I used it. And now that I know how powerful it is, oh, God. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> bitch took my triangle. <laughs> He purchased it fair and square. He beat you to it. No, 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 no. No. The Regnus took it. Okay. Oh no, Regnus didn't take it. Who? I don't know his name. The man with the scimitar who fucked my day up. Oh no, Tula's just even like worse. concerned now that she knows what the triangle does. She's seen it before, she's just... That's even worse than an angry child having it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think she was referring to Regnus, if anyone yes. at the party. Yes, actually. <laughs> okay, then carry on. <laughs> Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to hit my camp, uh, go back to my camp and, uh, get my things. Um. Yeah, don't get into any more near-death experiences, please. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd, uh, rather not, to be honest. Um, uh, I helped Regnus because, well, he's an asshole, but I, I knew if he got hurt, you'd be upset. Thank so. you. Blah, 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 get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Uh, so, as, as I say, while they are gone at camp, <laughs> I actually look for a, let's say, more stable canister. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're going through the back of the, uh, through the back of the, uh, the Wagon. cart, like, looking for, Parts. like, something more stable than the, uh, to-go cup that you had. <laughs> <laughs> Uranium in originally. Wait, wait, where, where did he even get uranium? A coffee machine. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Department. Yeah, the the co the machine that makes anything that you ask for. Yeah, yeah a cup yeah, of anything. My yeah. portion of giant strength, Kiata. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I'm holding on to that one. <laughs> Don't you uh, want to see Tulip become like that one part from uh, Scooby Doo Monsters Unleashed with Shaggy? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna stay this way forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. So as you, as you're like rummaging around, you like. You find a pot that you guys have been using to hold the rations in. Uh, no, please, please no. And at this point, uh, this one, this one pot because you guys had like three or four pots of rations with all the amounts that you guys bought. This one pot's yeah. empty. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no. How are you gonna cover it? Especially considering it glows. Um, there. <laughs> hey, Mute then felt right before. within his soul the anger of Mizuki. <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh, carrying God. around <laughs> a cup or a pot of pure radiation. I've already <laughs> held a cup of it for me. <laughs> I thought you were going to say pure radium. <laughs> <laughs> And now, now that I was scolded, but nobody's looking, I I'm going to get the pot, and I'm going to go back to the tree and pour the uranium inside. Uh... <laughs> oh, boy. I'm not oh, sure like, we're right, going to hate you to... or love you right now. <laughs> Both. All right. 
Now I'm gonna now I need to find a good lid. There there are lids for these pots, right? Yeah. Okay. So mm. I get a lid and I um Flex tape it's um, sealed. Yeah, at th- this time try to, you know, wrap the top with some rope. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the most stable of <laughs> containers. <laughs> and I put it back in my bag. <laughs> Oh my god. Kiana's too old to deal with this. <laughs> He's literally the only adult. You guys are gonna give him a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. And then I just can continue to keep watch. Now, as you do this, you realize that, that clay pot's really warm to the touch now. Oh huh. no. That's interesting. Huh. I'm sure this won't have any consequences in the future. <laughs> Mute. <laughs> uh, so, um, back to Kiata. How far out uh, would you say you would be in about forty minutes? Um, would you still be following what you believe are the tracks? Yes. I mean, it's kind of hard to miss a child's footprints and hoof marks. In the mud, so. In the mud. By the way, it's getting Wow, this looks like a child was kidnapped by Satan. (laughs) (laughs) It's Krampus! (laughs) Oh no, it's Krampus all over again. (laughs) This season's perfect for it. Um... (laughs) But yeah, so you follow the tracks more and more, and you you eventually get to that. You see that forest not too far ahead, and you know they went there. He's oh. going to start calling out for the two of them okay. and Ragnus. Um, what about you, uh, Mute and Tulip? I'm sorry, Mizuki and Tulip. Hey oh. now. As Mizuki You're is sassing Fetner and they like walk away, I assume she's just gonna like look at Mizuki, look back at Fetner, wave goodbye, keep going. <laughs> keep going where? The I don't trail know. ended for you guys. That's what I'm asking. Mizuki's leading the way. <laughs> <laughs> With her blood so- I her bloodhound. <laughs> uh I say we go back for the others. Okay. Tell them what we know. Uh, on your way back, you run into Fetner as he was going in that direction anyways. His camp's oh. that way. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! He just kind of looks at you and he's like, I can't really disappear, you know. Tula just like <laughs> looks at Mizuki and kind of just like does a face <laughs> She's just... We're dealing with a lot of things right now. <laughs> Look, I, I'm, I'm the, the, the angry, silent stare. I'm look, willing to help you find your friend Regnus. We're going back for the other two. All right. We're fine. All right. If you want to help, you can, but we don't want you killing yourself. <laughs> well. I appreciate it, but I, I feel like since I failed to save him to begin with, I really should help. I so. think he should come with us. Okay. Um. I guess! <laughs> <laughs> my camp is literally like, not too far from where you found me. I was on my way back from a hunt, so... Okay. Um. Alright, we'll follow you so you can get your shit. Okay, so uh, you follow him back, and uh, about this time, Kiyasa, you find the uh, the corpses and the uh, the signs of battle. He's just he's going to make sure none of them are, you know, Regnus, Tulip, or Mizuki. All right. You like use your staff and you turn one over and it's like badly burned, but you can tell this one's a werewolf. Like the the way the skull is and everything, the flesh that's been burned off of it. 
It's like, okay, none of, none of these are them. None of these are my children. <laughs> yeah. Father. Uh, and, and what are you going to do now that you found the clearing of where the battle happened? Uh, he's going to, even louder now, start calling out for the three of them. <laughs> All right, let's see. Would we hear them by now? Make a perception check. That is literally what I was about to draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perception, you say? Yep. Perception. Fourteen. That's persuasion. Hey! Oh, Not shit. perception. <laughs> Twelve, it's even worse. Uh, this is the whole thing is just, <gasps> Dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fetner stops and is like, I hear something. And Tulip, you're like, Dad! <laughs> Dad, he'll make everything better. <laughs> Dad! You're all grounded. <laughs> she walks up, you're grounded. <laughs> she just... Just, uh, oh, you better believe you're both <laughs> No, it's just that fine. I'm, I'm 27. <laughs> She's not, but... <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys, you know, start running over to uh, where you hear the voice, and you find Kiata. Kiata! Yeah. We have a little bit of news for you. And what would that be? Well, we have Fetner here. He just kind of waves. He's still covered in blood, by the way, but he just, he just kind of waves. Hi. He found Regnus. He tried to help. He almost died. We revived him. We followed the tracks for Regnus for a little bit, maybe, what did you say, three, two, two, two and a half hours, maybe? About two and a half hours. Two and a half uh, hours out that way, and then his tracks disappeared. Like, poof, gone. No, nothing. Oh. And well, we we're then. on our way back to get you. And the cat. And Alice. Yeah, and the, the horse. cat is just going to take a moment, take a deep breath in. Inhale the memes, exhale the memes. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. He's going to walk over to the three of them. And smack them all in the side with the quarter staff. Oh! <laughs> oh God! You hit right where the sword hit me. <laughs> Fetner yeah, just kind of like doubles him, over. Please. Oh, that one hurt. And, and he's going to look at Fetner. Don't ever do that again. You almost died. And he's going to yes, look at Dad. Tulip. He's going to look at Tulip and Mizuki. And just really? Yes. You didn't why? Need to say anything <laughs> to anyone before you left? Nope. I expected more from you two. <laughs> we told <laughs> mute. You mean the same mute that's suffering from radiation poisoning? Yes. We told the cat. Do you do you really think he was all no! there when you told him? No, but we know. No. Fetner kind of like raises his head a little bit. Wait, how does he have radiation poisoning? Uh, long story. He's been carrying on your radiation. It's a story I'm going to smack him to because he's an idiot. Okay. But right now I have to... <sighs> we have to find Regnus. Find him. Uh. Well, we followed it, and like Mizuki said, it just the, the trail vanished. I just feel like the longer we stand here, the longer it's going to be for us to find him. Who knows how. Fender, go get your stuff! Now. Okay, I'm going. All right, let's head back to camp, pack up, and we'll head out from there. Okay. All right, so you also, guys you head out. <laughs> So you but guys, Dad! Uh, 
You guys are heading Thanks, off Dad. back to your camp <laughs> while Fetner goes to his own, which isn't that far away. Um, you guys wait. at or When you get to the camp, you still find, you know, Mute there. Mute, what, what has he been doing after, you know, securing his treasure? <laughs> I had just been making sure no one comes and, you know, ransacks our stuff. Right. Uh, you see, you see a group like pass by, you know, just a couple of uh, travelers. They don't pay you any mind, but for the most part, you're you're left alone. All right. Uh, and uh, eventually, the the the, the others return. Hey guys. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. Are you? Feeling better than you were this morning. Yes, I'm feeling a lot better now. We're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> well, start packing up. We're going to find Directness. <sighs> Hopefully, Alvar. Gets I found a scent. What are we grounded from? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I say, don't question me. <laughs> But you didn't say, Dad! You're right. So you whatever I know. say you're grounded from, if I say you're grounded from it, you're grounded from it. From oh, don't talk back to me. Kiana! <laughs> <laughs> Day one of being grounded. Well, diary. <laughs> it happened again. <laughs> God hates me. <laughs> I've been betrayed by my own father. Father, Again? how could you? Uh, so you, got, you, you guys uh, pack up your things, and you know, like you, you know, pack up Regnus' stuff as well. Which he he left his pack behind and everything. So all of his Fine. items are yours. Uh, yeah, I call dibs. You get nothing. Damn it. Uh, let me just look at his sheet real quick. Uh, give me a second. I am getting a call. Okay. Okay. Uh, crowbar, hammer, wooden stakes, holy water, manacles, steel mirror, can, flask of oil. Can, can I so. have? Can I? Can I have just one thing? What? I want the crowbar. <laughs> He's also got 490 copper pieces, 75 silver pieces, and 924 gold pieces. I'm not taking his money. <laughs> oh, and that one point that if he flips, it casts light or uh, sunlight or darkness. I don't care for coin. Just want the crowbar. So I, I'll, I'll just say while uh, Kiata's AFK, um, you guys are able to, you know, pack your things up and, you know kind of sit there. You put Regnus's pack on the back of the uh, card as well. Um, and, uh, you know, some time passes by, and then finally Fetner shows up, uh, walking on foot, and uh, he just has Wait. his backpack. Walking on what? He's walking on foot. You said foot. Foot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> foot. <laughs> <laughs> Not making fun of my speech impediment. Uh, but yeah, but, he, he's walking on foot. But I don't and... want to. <laughs> he just uh, kind of like waves to you guys some. He's like, um, they found my camp. So, that's destroyed. Yeah. Killed my horse. I'm actually rather still upset about that. She pats the cart. Get on. Okay. Like, you know, he he is legitimately upset about his horse being dead. So don't feel sorry for him. He'll sit on the back of the cart, kind of like away from everyone. He's... She like tries to pat his head, but she can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> but you can reach. Even when she sits down on the cart, and you get on the cart, and you can. You can stand on the cart, and then you can reach. <laughs> You're right. She's just gonna crawl up onto the cart, pat, pat, crawl back down. <laughs> Awkward sibling hug? Awkward sibling hug. Pat, pat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... 
Uh, Kiata's apparently taking a phone call, Wait, so he'll be back. do I have the picture of Fetner that I drew? Yes, I believe I still have it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, as you guys kind of like, you know, are all settled to go, where do you guys go? Onward, to victory. Let's go on an adventure. On... Do you continue I... on the road to Holsterford, or...? I would like to go back to where we last... Uh, lo well, where we lost his trail. Okay. Uh, it takes you some time, but you're able to get there. Because maneuvering through woods is a pain. It with is, especially with a cart. I say you'd get there probably about noon. Okay. Yeah, it's still cold as hell too. Love that. <laughs> and uh, Fetner is like going through a book of his, and he's like, "I wonder if I have something that could help with identifying how they disappeared." What's that? Uh, he's uh, going through all, uh, the book itself is apparently like different spells. Oh, because she's like on her tiptoes trying to see. <laughs> yeah, he he shows it to you. It's it's a book of spells, but he's and he explains that he can't cast any of them. But it's more of like identifying uh, magical auras and stuff. Hmm. Oh, he, you know, he was kind of glad he packed it, but like I said, he left it back at camp. So, um, so when you guys get there, he just kind of like you know has the book open and he starts uh, casting you know detect magic, identify, and other things to try and find out what may have been cast in this area that just made them vanish. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's going to give him advantage on his arcane check, or arcana check. Okay. Um, yeah, he's able to confirm that uh, there was was a teleportation circle here. Okay. Um, and he notes that with the the, the sheer number of footprints, this was an ambush. These, this group of people were coming for a fight with all of you. All of us? Mm. Yeah. And Regnus ran into them early. Oh, no. Even me? Yep. Why so, would anyone want to pick a fight with you? I don't know. Oh, with my sweet, loving face. Well, you were at the uh, the SCP department, and you punched Knight Curran a few times. Did so... I? Oh wait, no, you weren't there. But there were other there were other things that you did. Um. But yeah, he he's able he was able to you know dedu deduce that a teleportation circle was temporarily here, and that they had set it up beforehand, like they had planned on coming encountering you guys. In either killing all of you and leaving with someone, or just kidnapping Regnus and leaving. Why does everyone want Regnus so badly? Uh, he shrugs. Is like I, I don't know. Is there any way to tell where it went? He tries to read through the book a bit more, and he shakes his head. If the circle was still here. Yes, I, I could tell you, but it looks like they made a temporary circle, and as soon as it was used, it vanished. How far can these go? Across the world. Hmm. To a different realm, maybe? Uh, also distinctly possible, yes. Um, oh, no. Now I'm getting a call. <laughs> Why is everyone getting calls? I don't know. That's oh, uh, yeah, he reads through the book a bit more. He's like, no, no, no. Uh, teleportation won't take him to another realm. The portal, if it was a portal, from, it would. Would a history check for Tulip's conversation with those people, like the gnome and that one chick? You can make a history check insight? for them. Or hi history, intellect, or investigation. I need to go give the child his ADHD, ADHD medicine. I'll be right back. I'll do okay. investigation. Uh, 
Kiato, where are you? Uh, Turtle Dad is still upset. I'll just put it that. Um, but yeah, you're able to recall briefly as to, you know, the gnome mentioning how the Knights of Alathara were trying to get the shards away from Countess Volunteer and getting them to Regnus and Mizuki somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, but you never really had a conversation with uh, Neferia, the, the, uh, the wood elf. But you do mm-hmm. remember that conversation that you were beside Regnus, between Regnus and Clint. Now I'm getting a call. What? <laughs> you know what? Let's <laughs> take a moment. <laughs> Answer our phones. Uh, you, you said you put the, uh, the uh, container in your backpack, right? I know he said he put it back in his bag, yeah. I can't, yeah. Oh no, now we can't hear. Oh great, now we can't hear him. <laughs> uh, what did you do? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, there you are. <laughs> well, I didn't know uh, anyone talk, talking to me. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you said you put the, uh, the uranium in your backpack again, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Um, and as you guys are standing there discussing things, you smell something burning. The fuck is that? And, uh, do you, do you investigate the source of the smell? Sniff. Yes. You guys are like, you kind of like all stop and you're like, something is, something's burning. And you like all start like, looking around and your eyes slowly start trailing to uh, Mute's backpack which there's a, a faint smoke starting to come out of it Mute take that son of a bitch and yeet it <laughs> you, just yeet the whole backpack uh I'll, I'll, jokingly I'll, I'll, yes I'll, hold on I'll check and see what it is <laughs> You already uh, know what it is. As you uh, already know. as you pull the uh, the clay pot out, the bottom of it is like burning your hands hot, and some of the papers you had in your backpack have started to catch fire. God, like they're doing that that embery look. <laughs> Stupid dog. Uh, fine, I just need it across the way. <laughs> Okay, so you throw it, and yeah. it splashes against a tree, like shatters, and there's this greenish, glowy fluid that, you know, comes out of this clay pot and just douses this, uh, tree. The tree is now a treatant? The tree is currently sizzling. <laughs> I was just gonna look at you. I told you to get rid of it once already. I did, but then I got it again. That's the problem. <laughs> when you get okay, rid of well, something, you don't go back. Hey, it could have been useful. Also, I didn't tell it was you to hide it. <laughs> I told you to get rid of it. Okay, fine, fine. Well, you've already yeeted it out of the cart. <laughs> He's going to come back later and siphon it out the tree. I, I mean, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fender, on the other hand, is just kind of like staring at the sizzling tree, and he just says out loud, Why were you carrying something like that? Because it was hilarious. How come no one has my sense of humor? Let me show you as to why. He casts, uh... He's going to cast Healing Word on it. Uh, on the tree? Yeah. On, actually, more of on the uh, uranium. And, it, <coughs> and he, he declares... Uh, there it is. Uh, he declares that what spell he's casting before he casts it. And... 
Sorry, I'm pulling up my uh, wild magic sheet. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. The tree suddenly bursts into a swarm of moths that fly and scatter everywhere. Oh. And then he looks back to you, and he says, That's why. The stuff interferes with magic. The, well. Well, I guess me as a non-magic user hasn't really noticed until it made me sick. He face palms. <laughs> well, yeah, hey, just look like, at the bright side, it's guys. The of his nose. <laughs> just, I, as the bright side for everyone else, I've been you've all been playing on hard mode, and now it's gotten easier. You're welcome. You've enhanced your skills. Don't worry, you don't have to pay me for your training. Oh. <laughs> uh. By the way, those moths are, like, dropping dead quick due to the cold. <laughs> uh, he he just, like, goes back to reading, and he's like, I, I am sorry, my friends. I, I have no idea where Regnus was taken. Um, actually, he's going to, he's going to do, uh, the history check to see if he was actually able to catch anything. Yeah, okay. Um, he does say something about Countess Volunteer that the, 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 the one man said something about her. And Mizuki, you know that as the woman from your nightmares mm -hmm. as of late. So, and he kind of like looks to all of you. It's like, does that ring any bells to any of you? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sigh. Well, uh, it rings a bell for me because of that invite I got. So, what invite? Uh, he pats himself down for a moment, and then he produces a letter. Uh. I am to take the 11th hour from Hosaford to the capital of Arvis for a big ceremony that she is throwing. Don't go to it. Uh, well, I kind of have to due to the family. <laughs> and also, if she's behind this, then that means Regnus might be there. It's possible. Guess we're all going! Keanu, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Messing around with random tools. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, he's like, you know, if you want, you can come on the 11th hour with me. It, it'll definitely make traveling to Arvis very much quicker. Have you ever been on one of those things before? A flying ship? Yes. No, considering this is the first one ever in existence. Ooh, a flying okay, ship. I, for I, I forgot about that. <laughs> do, do you think it's going to be anything like a, uh, a boat? Uh, a boat in the sky? I saw, like, the beginnings of its construction. It's the size of a massive warship. In fact, it is a warship. If it's, it's anything terrible. like when I met you guys properly, I was puking my guts out on a ship. Well, there's no water, so... I don't I think don't you'll get seasick. Um, airsick, maybe? Airsick. Is that a thing? Uh, it might. I guess we're going to find out. Uh-huh. 
but like I said, if my suspicion is true and she is behind this, then I have to go there anyways. So you might as well get there as quickly as possible, right? Right. So to host support. Yes, let's go. Yeah. Alright. Uh, and uh, as you guys get back onto the trail to uh, to host Ford, um, Fentner again just kind of, you know, he keeps his distance from each of you. He kind of like sits on the back of the cart, reads. I'm back. Uh, welcome back. Hello. What did I miss? Hmm. <laughs> Everyone died. You're the only one left. No. I have to become a god. <laughs> we had a uranium incident. A uranium incident? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. yeah, well, it's uh, gone now. We're good. Clay is not a good container for uh, uranium. Is that it? <laughs> uh, well, his backpack started to catch fire, so he yeeted it against a tree. And okay. Fetner casted a healing word onto the uranium to show what happens, and the tree turned into a swarm of moths that proceeded to die from the cold. Love that. <laughs> okay. But, you know, everyone's going to Hosefort to take the 11th hour to go and save Ragnus from Ragnus. Countess Valentia. All right, let's go. Right. Adventure time. Blue. Come on, grab your friends. <laughs> <laughs> but as I said, you know, Fenner for the most part, he just kind of keeps to himself. So, you Is know what? Still injured. Can I attempt to talk to Fenner? Yeah, he'll welcome any conversation you give him. Huh. Hey, guy, how's it going? Oh, you know, missing Rosie, my horse. Oh, yeah. I understand. Love that horse. I, I've had a lot of things end up dying on me when I was younger. And I miss them as well. But although some things can't be so easily replaced, you can, you know, try to move forward and just go from there. I suppose you're right. I'm just... Honestly, the whole reason why I left my entourage behind because I, I figured this was just going to be a very simple, easy trip. And plus, I had uh, my servant bell with me to where I could summon my uh, my faithful butler at any given moment. Um, you had a summonable butler? Oh, yes. Uh, he uh, reaches into his coat and he's like, I didn't take it with me on the hunt because when you're hunting for Nala, you're not allowed to use magical items and I didn't want to have it on me, you know, and have it interfere with the hunt. Uh, but he holds up the bell and he says, the butler that has always been at my side since I was a child, uh, he's actually an, a spirit of essentially a criminal who has been bound to this bell for all of eternity. Oh. And, uh, he Mizuki must... has a question for him. Uh, so, a sort of as form of his penance, uh, he is in servitude to whoever wields the bell. Hmm. So, Fetner. Yes. Do you by chance have a fear of bats? No. <laughs> did anybody get that? I did, I did. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Batman? <laughs> He has, he has a servant named Alfred. <laughs> he has a fear oh. of bats. Okay. Rich man with a fear of bats. Yeah. Uh, but, um, no. Uh, yeah. uh, this bell will uh, cease to function and the penance will be done in about another 20 years. So I'm going to be the last Fetna to own it. I didn't know you worship Nalara too. <laughs> um, he kind of nods a little bit. It's uh, it's not really part of family tradition. It's the reason it's more of family blood. I am uh. He thinks for a moment. My 
grandmother was a half elf between a moon elf and a human. So, I myself am one eighth moon elf. So, you stick me in moonlight, and the runes will appear on my skin. That's pretty much it. So, if you were to have a kid, the bloodline would continue. Am I correct? Yes. Hmm. And this butler will do anything for you, correct? Uh, for the next 20 years, yes. Well, in that case, you should get him to buttle up some nice-looking ladies for us. Mm-hmm. Two of just face palms again. <laughs> <laughs> Fetner, without a, like, a, a change <laughs> in <laughs> posture, without a change in expression, just flatly says, You remind me a lot of my brother. <laughs> Oh, he must be a really great guy. You know what? All the brothels say that. Ha <laughs> Yeah, they say that about me, too. No, they don't. <laughs> you don't know. You haven't been there. So you think? You have a brother? Uh, yes, a younger brother. Um, his name is, uh, Odnell. Oh. He... <laughs> When when we were in Penna, he was on his way to uh, Elderport. I'm sorry, Wolfgren, uh, to essentially handle some logistics of the business and all that, and also because he wanted to visit the whorehouse and the gambling house there. Is he supportive of the family business? <laughs> he doesn't care. He's more of a, I'm riding off of the family money kind of brother. I see. So, that's the reason why he's going to be cut off from the family fortune in about a month. Oh boy. Yes, and then when my father retires, I take over the head, so long as I make sure he lives comfortably. Oh. Yes. I am what is called, uh, the odd one of the family. Not important. Yeah, so was I. That reminds me, what are you? <laughs> I'm a tiefling, can't you tell? No, 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 no. That tail is too big for a tiefling. Have you not seen another tiefling with a tail this long? Not that long or big. Mm. You can practically use it as a bed. I do. I am not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> So, you are a tiefling. But what's the other half? Relic. I feel like I'm getting more questions than answers. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have to go back and see what you sent me. Oh, it's fine uh, because... I can't you can... remember! <laughs> Mizuki would be kind of aloof about it anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, aside from, you know, those questions, do you have anything else you wanted to ask Fentner? I'm just trying to be buddy-buddy with him. I feel like, since since I'm the odd one out of the group, I might as well hang out with the other odd one out. Oh. <laughs> uh. Is he still pretty badly hurt? He's somewhat better. He, er, he He's a lot better because he's been hitting himself with healing spells. But from what you can tell, his leg where he got uh, mauled by the werewolf is still kind of bad. I think Tulip uh, is just trying to be nice to him, but he's still like not healing. trusting as much. Actually, Tulip can make an insight check. Insight and, check? Yeah. And, uh, Kiara, what did you say? Oh, I said I was gonna heal him for ten hit points. Okay, heal him for ten. The dice gods hate me! <laughs> well, you're able to tell that something's definitely on Fetner's mind, but you're not sure as to what. So He's just gonna kinda... What's bothering you, besides the whole 
horse thing. Uh, nothing that you should worry about. And he gives you a warm smile. I'm gonna worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what's with this giant stone in the back of the uh the cart? And he points at the uh, stone. That it's a gift. Like... That's all we know. Tulip just crosses her arms and just regnus. <laughs> regnus said it was a gift. That's all. That's all we know. It's been his project for the past few days. He, he, he like flips through his book a little bit. Oh, I know it is. What? what? Oh, <laughs> if it's a gift, I, should I really say what it is? Yes. Please! Oh my god, he hasn't told us anything! Oh. Well, he was going to make it levitate and fly, so it would be like a flying, you know, object for you to ride on. Oh! That's so fun! We have to pretend we don't know! <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know if I can finish this, though. Um, let me see. I don't think anybody should touch it until, he, until we find him. Yeah, we should probably just re let Regnus finish it when he gets a chance. Okay, uh, I won't touch it then. <laughs> uh, let's see, so... Days of travel... Ooh. Ooh. So you guys travel for a few more days, and eventually... You come upon a uh, sort of a canyon that was not there on the map. In fact, it's not on the map. Fetner even says it's not on the map as he's looking at his map. But there is a canyon shooting off from the side of the road, and it looks like the whole ground just recently caved in on itself. Um, can same? you put a is dot on the map for where it is? Certainly. Let me just put it right. Let me choose a different color. Do we need to get rid of our doodles? No, nah, they're fine. Right there. Between the P uh -oh. and E. Oh, so you said this has been... <laughs> so Tulip is just going to start right? drawing it, it in. Is, it's been a number of days, yes. Oh, shit. Sure. Right. Uh, but yeah. Let me just move that to the background. Map layer. Yeah, the, on the road, like, you know, it takes off part of the road to where you have to kind of, like, go around the edge of it, otherwise your cart would get stuck. But there's just this crack or canyon that just goes deep down, and Fetner is, like, looking at it and looking at his map. is like, that was not there. Now it is. Huh? Now it is. And everyone make a perception check. Perceive! Anyone? <laughs> oh, why? Wow, okay, you went up just one! Distracted. Went up one! <laughs> You're really worried about Regnus. I guess so. <laughs> um, and as you guys are like, you know, kind of looking at it as you pass by, uh, Mizuki, Mute, and Kiata definitely see it. Uh, I'm guessing. Tulip is a little busy being worried, or she's kind of, like, updating her map. With yeah, she's, she's drawing the map. <laughs> um, Fentner, he kind of, like, glances over your shoulder, but he, you know, doesn't pay much mind. Um, and then uh, the other three, you guys actually see a group of three hooded figures standing on the edge of the, of the canyon, of the crevice. And they are, like, looking with binoculars further down into it. Who that? Uh, I point. Uh, as you point at them, Tulip, you recognize them as the three drow that passed through your camp a number of days ago. Oh. Mm. Hello. So, <laughs> you wave hello? Yeah. Uh, they turn back to you, and they just kind of, like, talk between each other for a moment, and then, like, they come over to the cart. 
What are you guys um, doing? They, like, speak for a moment before one of them shoves another one, and that one speaks in common. Sorry, I'm the only one who speaks common. This... Oh. Cre this crevice, this canyon, uh, it wasn't here before, was it? No, not on the map. Something caused it, and collapsed down in on one of our cities. That's the reason why we're above hmm. ground. Thankfully, that damnable sun is out of sight. Do you know when this hmm. happened? Maybe about a month ago. Huh. So. Uh, we've been trying to find a way up to the surface in order to investigate on this side. As I said, they collapsed in on a city, and so all the entrances and exits to the surface have been closed off due to cave-ins. Oh, well, I hope everyone's okay. They kind of give you, like, a really look. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, he, like, conveys something to the others in, uh, Underdark, and they just kind of, like, they give that look like, oh, we should have known they were useful, useless, and they just, the two others go back to, like, looking. Uh, on the other side, we did notice a structure, uh, further in with the binoculars that we can't tell where it's from. Hmm. Can I make a history check? Uh, yeah. He even gives you the binoculars so you can see it. Yes! <laughs> you you glance through the uh through the binoculars at this object in the distance, and it looks like a giant king piece. But like instead of like a king piece the size that the storm giants were using, this king piece is the size of storm giants. That's and a there's these weird eight stone spires jutting up and down, like... They go straight up from the base of the king piece, and then straight down back into the ground, all around it as well. And it's tilted on its side. And you can just faintly make out a, a door on the front. And as you're racking your mind trying to think of something, you do remember... Uh, briefly a story that you heard one time about things from another world crashing down. But you thought it was just, you know, fairy tales. Uh huh. She's just gonna things from another world crashing down. And she remembers the storm giants and she's just it's a giant king piece. Hmm. It just fell out of the sky. What I know? King piece? Like uh, chess. Mizuki, make a, a basic intelligence check for you. Intelligence. Intelligence. Uh, the, the drown question. He's like, I, I don't really know what chess is. I apologize. That must be a surface world thing. Nope. I don't know shit. You don't know shit, but you definitely sense something for like a moment. You sense something old. Mm. That was a save. Oh. Ten. That's okay, better. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely sense something old. Like for a moment, like a chill runs down your spine, but something old is in that direction, in that canyon. Old as I am, or older? Old like you, but possibly older. Does anyone All in the right. group have a chess set? I don't think so. Mizuki doesn't know she don't. <laughs> she, if she did, she probably thought it was food and ate it. Exactly. <laughs> She's gonna draw... She's gonna turn the map over and draw, like, a chess thing. She's just like, I don't know if you've ever seen people do this, but it's a game. Very... Okay. Like, smart people play it a lot. <laughs> As, and you kind of, like, Way to go. explain the basics of it. Yeah. He nods, it's like, oh, Dantavel. Okay, I get it. Surface version of Dantavel. Yeah, that. 
Ah, all right then. Uh, well, I guess we're going in to see what on um, what in the nine hells is that thing distance. So, thank you for your help. He takes his binoculars back, and mm -hmm. three of them descend into the canyon. Around we go. All right. Uh, because because of this canyon, you actually have to literally go around the parts of the road are just gone, fallen in. <laughs> um, and as you guys curve around this canyon, you actually get better looks at this giant chess piece. Mm -hmm. um, after some time, you actually see uh, the drow entering from the front, and as soon as they do, smoke starts billowing from the top of the chess piece. Oh. And then something moves. Oh no. Chess piece the 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 spires on the side start twitching and rock and rubble starts falling from it as this black inky substance underneath them is exposed. Oh. Uh and then more smoke starts billowing higher and higher and then the whole thing stands up. It what? It stands up on eight spidery legs. Are they going to die? You don't know. But you do know that you saw them enter it and make a perception. Who? If any of you, if you want. Oh, yeah, Tulip, you definitely hear them screaming in horror and pain. We have to help them. I mean, that's up to you guys. Uh, Zuki, you faintly hear it. Mute, you definitely hear it. Yeah, so we can help them. I'd like to see what's going on. Well, All right. then let's hurry. <laughs> All right, let's start climbing. All right, you guys, or uh, we jump off and I cast Featherfall. That also would work. <laughs> uh, it's a good 40 foot drop. Uh, but yeah, I would say with Featherfall, you'd be able to. Can I get everyone? Yeah. Okay, uh, she's eating herself off and casting Featherfall. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Kiara said he'll he will be right back. Okay. Uh for simplicity reasons I'll say that he comes with. Uh but yeah, is so you Fetner guys Fetner going too? Fetner is going with as well. Yay! He actually and ties eats herself off a canyon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he actually ties uh Atlas and your horse off with the cart like to a tree. Okay. Before he yeets off. Okay. <laughs> Yeet! Yeet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you guys land at the the bottom of the canyon as you're hearing the screams inside. Uh, there's like a small opening near the top, and you see a flaming drow throw himself out of the opening and onto the ground to try to scramble away. What's happening? What's going on? Well, I think we need to put them out first. Yeah. Uh see, which one is it? Oh, you guys look out, it's the one who speaks common. Yay! He's like rolling on the ground to put himself out, and what are you casting? Healing word. Okay. It's a little uh, bit. <laughs> yeah. He yells, run away. It's an old one. What's that? What does that mean? Uh, Mizuki, you know that it's an old god. Huh? So, similar to what created you. Huh? And then you hear in this blaring tone of voice that just comes from the chess piece, like in these little square boxes on the outside of it. Power! Power! I wish power! Feed! Feed me! And the front huh? of the chess piece opens again, and this flame gushes out and 
two skeletons that look freshly charred fall out, and they brandish with them swords. She just kind I'm of like, actually... covers her mouth, like, in shock. <laughs> I'm actually going to also use Healing Word for, for that guy. What am I All ruling? Right. Uh, I guess you guys know what time it is. Initiative. Are we, we're fighting yep. a god? Can, 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 I, can I use Healing Word before we start that, though? Yes. On the drow? Sure. What am I rolling though? I don't. Uh, you just roll a one d four and plus your wisdom modifier, so it'd be one d four plus four. There you go. It was a one d four plus four, not four d four. Whoops. <laughs> I'll use the first four of that, remember. so it'll be it'll be eight. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. The little dice roller. Uh, left. I'm back. Welcome back. Initiative. Oh. The uh, statue, the giant chess piece came alive, set the drow on fire. One of them got out. The other two have been regurgitated <laughs> as charred embers. <laughs> or charred skeletons. Boy. All right. The mute got an eighteen. What about Fetner? I got a net one. Oops, not one eighty. Whoa. I will do Fetner in just a moment. Okay, he's not. Skelly doing boys. It. Skelly boys. Is it tulip? Got a 15. <laughs> Kyata got a 7. Mizuki got a nat 20. Drow. <clears throat> 10. <laughs> I'll push it right down Fetters before I forget it. <laughs> Skelly Boys. Ah. And finally, it. That one. <laughs> wow! It, it's not a fast boy. And not to mention, that one. That's fair. Alright. Uh, Alright, so. Mizuki, you're up first. There are two skelly boys. And uh, the drow has currently like run to where he's behind you guys a little bit. Um... Fetner is looking at the giant chest oh, piece, and he's like, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Hmm. Could I possibly do a history to see if I can recognize the voice, or...? Yes. In fact, I'll give you that as a free action. You recognize this as... It, it was... Something that visited this plane of existence once before, but mm -hmm. it was defeated by other gods. But they could never truly defeat it. So they simply starved it of food. And this is Hold the voice on, I'm of missing Boss. Something. What about a god? This is Boss Weber, or at least an avatar of Boss Weber. It's not actually him, but more of a fragment of his being that is, was left behind. Okay. I have a really quick question. Yep. Did you take that name from... Um... Skinner? Yeah. Yep. He actually, <laughs> me, he actually asked me to put it in here. So I was like, okay. I oh, I love it. I love it. So yeah. Boss Weber, a giant chest piece... Uh, a king chest piece with spidery legs and currently fire coming out of it. It also poops lava. How big is this compared to us? Uh, it's the size of a storm giant, so... Pretty fucking big, then. <laughs> yep. Love that for us. Okay. Hey. Blame Skinner. Right. <laughs> Can I... 
say something to the rest of them? Sure. I'm gonna yell out, uh, aim for the legs. And I'm going to try my Warhammer at one of the legs. Alright. Oh, crap. That'll hit. Yes! What is, oh, crap? Oh. <laughs> Seven damage! That's the oh, crap. Seven damage. Alright. Uh, you hit one of its legs. It, it, it like, moves a little bit under the weight. <laughs> and you see, like, little cracks in the inky substance. And then... You hear that booming voice again. Who dares defy me? Me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you'd like to declare, Mizuki? No. I'm good. Alright. You can use your bonus action to cast a uh, sacred, uh, sacred weapon. I forgot. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Let's do it again. Uh, spiritual weapon? That's it. Spiritual weapon. There you go. And you'll be able to attack with it on your next turn. Next turn. turn. I got my scythe! <laughs> my flowy right. scythe. Mute. Two scaly so. boys, one giant mofo. <laughs> oh, are the skeletons actually fighting us? Yes. Oh. I that. Skeleton. <laughs> uh, I would like to point out your uh, disadvantage is gone now that the source of it is gone. <laughs> Yeet! <angry. laughs> right. well, it's clobbering, Tom! <laughs> so, I guess, uh, I guess I'll go up to a skillman and give it a... give it some punches. It's, it's been so long since I've played, I forgot how to how to monk. <laughs> I think I attacked twice, right? Forgot how to monk. Yeah, yeah, I remember how it goes now. Uh, loop and loop. Yep, both will hit. Nice. And my bonus action will be, well, I guess I'll, well, I'll go ahead and do the bonus action punch as well. Yeah. Sweet. Yep, that'll hit. Nice. Alright. Very good. Bloop. Bloop. And... <laughs> Mouse. Bloop. Okay, yeah. Mute nice. runs up, <laughs> goes up to the first skelly boy, and with three quick strikes just shatters the skull and it falls to pieces. Nice. <laughs> one, one Skeletor down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> and it was, that was your action and your bonus action, so you are out. Uh, Tulip. <laughs> what are you casting that on? Uh, the Skelly Boy and the chest piece. All right, Skelly Boy save is no. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a no because they have a minus three to charisma saves. So now for Boss Weber's. Uh, what's your save again? Uh, good question. Um, sixteen. <laughs> okay, no, never. Then he fails by one. Yes! Wow! Yes! <laughs> nice. So, yeah. what is Bane disadvantage on attacks and saving throws, uh, or uh, what level? Uh, just one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whenever a target that fails saving throw makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. Uh. So essentially, they get a, a whatever they roll minus one d4. Mm. Uh, anything else you'd like to do, as you still have a bonus action? Uh... Uh, let's see. Nope, vicious ac vicious, vicious mockery is an action in itself. Uh, let's see. 
think cutting words is too. Do you still have bardic inspiration? Oh, I do. Bardic inspiration on next boy, which is Fetner. All right. And that's a D8? Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, if you say it's a D8. <laughs> I'm just asking for clarification. <laughs> I think it is, yes. Yeah, yeah, I just looked it up. It is. All right. All right. Fetner's go. I'll be right back by a break. Okay. Did I have to roll it? No, it's for whatever he needs it. He'll roll it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, this... Yeah, he, he looks at that giant chess piece and he's like, I, I'm really not feeling confident in this, to be honest. Yeah, she just twangs her loot and says, kick his ass! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. He is going to go up to the first skeleton. And... I'm sorry, he's going to go up to the other fellow skeleton, and he's going to try and use his rapier on it. Oh yeah, he needs that uh, d8. Oh, and he hits thanks to the d8. Um, he doesn't kill it, but he definitely takes off one of its arms with this, uh, skeleton, with this rapier, and then he says... I really wish that this hurt you more because you cast magic, but I'm guessing you don't. Um, and then he's going to give bardic inspiration to uh, Kiata. Oh, all right. The circle of bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the drow. Uh, let's see how he's feeling confident about this. Oh. Um... Yeah, he's willing to stick around for now. Uh, so he starts uh, attacking as well. He goes for the leg, just like uh, Mizuki. That's a hit. And he cuts down it with his scimitar. Uh, still not quite getting through it, but there's now like a long gash down it. This thing doesn't bleed, but it's like leaving an inky residue on anything that touches it. Ew. Skelly boys, the one that's still alive, Miss on Fetner. Kiata. Actually, right. because it missed. Yeah, okay. Uh, Fetner parries the hit and then counterattacks and swipes at the uh, skeleton again. And that kills it. So, how many skeletons are left? Just one or two. There is no Skelly boys left. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mute smashed the skull in of the first one, and Fetner uh, used his counter ability to kill the second one. Ah, okay. I'm going to move the initiative track over. No, So that's... Just, just the spider now? Just the giant spider thingy. Nice. I'm going to cast this. All right. Um, um, the spider thinks legs. Okay, you're able to get, uh, let's see, you'd actually be able to get, uh, two of its legs. All right. Actually, no, because the way that the spider's legs are, you'd get three of them. So it starts, like, trying to pull against them, and it can't seem to be able to do it. What else would you like to do? Uh, is it restrained currently? Uh... Has to make a strength save. Strength check. Whatever. <laughs> no, because I just rolled a two. <laughs> oh. A two. Oh, uh, don't forget about that, um, the negative four from. Or oh, the minus right. d four. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> so it's got a zero. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being right. that bad. <laughs> it's restrained, so it's speed zero. Uh, it has disadvantage on attacks. We have advantage on attacks, and this it has disadvantage on deck saving throws. All right. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to declare? Uh, 
bonus action will be casting Shillelagh. All right. On my quarterstaff. Or no, my glaive. I forgot about that. Glaive, that's right. Uh, it go. Let's see. Does it have its abilities yet? No, it does not have its abilities yet. This thing is still waking up, from what you can tell. As it's spouting more and more words. Uh, Mizuki, you're the only one who can understand this thing, but it is mm -hmm. angrily <laughs> spouting how it's going to devour your guys' bones to fuel itself for how it will conquer all and devour power. Um, it's going to Fun. try and break free. That's a maybe. Bane. That's a no. Okay. <laughs> Mizuki, it's your go. Yeah. Um... What uh, happened while I was gone, by, uh, besides the two skelly boys uh, dying, uh, and three of the legs being entangled? Uh, that's pretty much it, because, yeah, the drow hit the leg that you are also hitting, and there's like an inky residue on your weapons from it. Mm, okay. All right, so I am going to go ahead and have my uh, spiritual weapon hit another leg. Okay. So, 1d20 plus your spell modifier. Which, oh, which 1d20 is... plus 4. Oh, lord. <laughs> uh, okay. Someone's getting arrested. <laughs> That's 18. That'll hit. And what do it's I do for damage? 1d8 plus 4. 6. Alright. You still have your main action. Yep. Now you get to hit it. Yep. And I'm gonna hit the same leg that I... Uh... That I was hitting. Alright. Not with a nat 1. <laughs> but with a 22. You have okay. advantage. Oh, yeah, I do have an advantage. Yeah. Eight. All right, you smack this leg again. And, and the cracks are getting a little bit bigger, but it's still not exactly breaking through. While your scythe is busy dealing damage to the next leg in order. Trying to get a head start on that. Mm hmm. All right, so. Mute. That's all for go. me. You say it's my go? Yep. All right. <clears throat> I was kind of trying to follow, like, you said the legs have cracks in them now, or is something else that has cracks? The one that Mute, I'm sorry, the one that Mizuki and the Drow are hitting has cracks in it. Okay. Well, yeah. Why not? I'll give that leg a few pummels. Alright. Give some strikes. Blurp. Blurp. Oh. You have advantage. Yeah, you have advantage. Oh, I do? Yeah. Yeah, so all three of them hit. Yeah. Oh, ah, nice. Alright. Alright. One. Two. And a three. Nice. <laughs> nice. So you said you're going for the same one that they're on? Yeah. Want to right. try to break that leg off. <laughs> Mute goes up and almost like a boxer just goes one, two, three. Right into the same spot. Again, leaving that inky residue on your uh, Manticore gauntlets. But yeah. you're, you're definitely making that crack wider. Let's see, how much damage has that one taken? Yeah, that one's not looking so good anymore. That leg in particular. <laughs> All right. Anything else you'd like to declare? Um, that'll end my turn. All right. Tulip. Uh, one second. Let's see here. Um, I don't know. Can I make this fucker go back to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> do you have sleep? I do have sleep. 
But I don't know if it would work on such a big boy. Uh, I'm going to click on it and see. Uh, I guess that's not what I wanted it to do. <laughs> uh, nope, that is not going to work yeah. on it. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, um. Mm, and I think I'm just going to go with my short bow for All right. Did you get, like, a short? Yes. Greater short bow of light. That'll hit. She's going to go on the same leg that they were attacking. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want this one. Six. All right. Da, da, da. That's actually going to be just enough damage to make that leg collapse in on itself. Yay! Yeah. So now yeah. it's lopsided as it nice. just kind of bunk. All right. Anything else you'd like to declare? That is all. Okay. How many legs Better. does this thing have? Eight. Eight. Okay. It now has uh, seven. Yeah, now has seven. And uh, Fetner is going to think for a moment, you know, hey, its legs are currently uh, tied up, so I'm just going to cast Lightning Bolt on it. <laughs> Heck yeah. So let me get my dice, dice, dice. Because it's going to most likely fail its... Actually, I'm going to do that first. Dexterity saving throw. That has disadvantage on. Plus Bane. No. <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> Six. That's a fail. <laughs> Where's my other? There's my other two. All right, eight D6 of damage. Wow. Ten. Who's microwaving something? 23, 25, 29 points of damage towards it. Oof! Alright. As he so strikes fun, one of the, the leg that the, uh, one of the legs that is currently entangled that you guys haven't hit yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a start on this one, if you don't mind. Bodic Inspiration to Mute. Alright. The Drow. Uh, He's just a basic, basic boy, so he's just going to keep hitting it with the scimitar. A basic boy. A basic boy. He'll hit. And he's hitting at the one that currently the spiritual weapon is on, as he goes and attacks that one. Uh, actually, I think he has a... Yeah, he's going to use action surge and attack again. Okay. So he's hacking away at that one. He's got two good solid hits on it. Kiara, your go. Oh, that guy made popcorn? I'm so sorry. I hope you guys get into that. <laughs> yeah, we can. I'm sorry. It is, it's fine. It's okay. What happened? Uh, oh. One leg is down, and Drow Boy is being a basic, basic boy, and he's hitting another leg that the spiritual weapon is on. Oh, great. I want popcorn now. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> I'll if she has any that I can have. I'm... I think she does. I'm going to hit the... one of the legs. My quarterstaff. It's not a quarterstaff anymore. You're right. Well, I still have it labeled as quarterstaff in my... Oh, that's right. Because it's your... under the shillelagh spell. Yeah. All right. Uh, Shillelagh, so it's one. Uh. I think it's a 1d8. 1d8. <laughs> For one. Um. But. I'm gonna do 10, or a d10 of necrotic damage, because Twilight drew it. Okay. 
And shillelagh is a spell. Shillelagh is a spell. Shillelagh is a spell. Uh, anything else you'd like to declare? Um, bonus action or arm strike. <laughs> That'll hit. And which one yep, are you aiming a... for? The one that they... uh... are you it's aiming the for one the other front the... one? Yeah, I'm for that one. The other front one, okay. All right, so that's the one that Fender hit with a lightning. So that one's not oh, in good condition. Ian, you still haven't sent me what I can do with my glaive. I thought I did. I am very sorry for that. I will get back on that when I get home. And on my normal computer. That's fine. Not the piece of crap that I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's turn. Let's see if it gets its abilities back. Yes! Alright. So that front hatch area, now that you look at it, kind of looks the opening to a furnace. And... It's going to open that up and aim it at all of you. Oh, yeah. that for me. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> uh, I need everyone to make a dexterity save. Dexterity? Dexterity. <sighs> At 20. Alright. That is not the right... Kiana, you and I are going down together. <laughs> <laughs> As we do. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. It's just a fire breath. <laughs> just Even if I did get hit, I have a resistance to it. Yeah. Wait, what's um, that one? Mean? So, Fentner oh, okay. and the Drow. Fentner is okay. And the Drow is not. Um, actually. Tulip. What? Uh, you feel yourself go, and for a split second, it feels like you're being pushed through a wet rubber tube, as you are no longer standing where you were, and you are going to take half damage, because Fender just took your place. Boy! Uh, oh, no. Fetner, why do you do the things you do? Can I also do something? Uh... If you have a reaction that allows you to do that. Fetner it's so her. exhausting having NPCs that are completely in love with you. <laughs> I do not know if I have anything like that or not. You don't. Fetner has an ability that he did. Okay, I believe fine. he mentioned at one point that he can teach another person to where he can trade places with someone. Um, but he can only do it like once a day. Uh, Wait, she's a... I don't know if you've, like, replaced any stat features or racial traits, but... I don't know. I believe you have Hellish Rebuke. Yeah. I have Hellish Resistance. You should have Hellish Rebuke as well. I don't see it on here. It's part of your Infernal Legacy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it on here. That's weird. I remember putting it on there. Here. You do have it. <laughs> uh, those of you who got under a 13 for this, you are taking... One second. Twenty-two points of damage. For those of you who got Ooh. under... Or, those of you who got oh. over 13, you're taking 11 points of damage. Mizuki, you're taking five points of damage because of your so, resistance. Do I take? Mm -hmm. You take eleven. I take eleven. Okay. Yes. Okay, hellish rebuke. You point your finger at a creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes two d ten fire damage on its failed save. Or half as much damage on a successful one. Alright, uh, roll your 2d10 because he rolled a 2 and a 7. Okay. 
and uh, let's see. Tulip, uh, you Again, took 15. damage, so you need to cast, or you need to do a concentration check for Bane. Uh, what would that be? Uh, constitution save, essentially. Ooh, so do I, because I have entangled. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're both fine. Okay. All right. So That's a 15, uh, yeah. Do you want to center it on its body or one of the legs? The body. Body, okay. Oh yeah, that was another question I had. What do we know what it's made out of essentially? Uh, you think that the body is made of obsidian from what you can see of it? Mhm. Mm but you And the legs? You are not sure about the legs. I mean, does it look like shiny, dull? It's dull. Okay. Yeah, um Yeah, on the body. Okay. It is now your go. I, I like keep closing my sheet. <laughs> it is cold in this store. <laughs> so All I can't wait right. until I can go home. Do, do, do. What was my um my scythe again? Uh one D twenty plus four to hit. That'll probably be a no. You have adv it has advantage, so. So do I roll again? Yes. Damn. Uh, all right. I don't know. Does that miss? Go. Yeah, that missed. <laughs> it's, it's got an AC fifteen because of how freaking big it is. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I will go over to the uh, leg that my scythe missed completely. 27. 7 damage. Alright. That one's starting to look pretty bad as well. Hey! Uh, mute. Haha! <laughs> You are standing in front of one broken leg, and you can attack the other front leg that Fetner has hit, or, and uh, Kiara has hit, or you can move on to the other leg that Mizuki and the Drow are working on. Um, I'll go for the other front leg. Why not? Okay. I'll go for... First... Nice. And... Ooh. Beautiful. You know, just... Ruh, ruh, raggy. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually use a key to do two additional strikes. Okay. Wow. No. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> One of them's a miss. <laughs> yeah. One of them is a miss, but that's still two nat 20s. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. great. Uh -huh. Alright. Nice. That's really good, dude. Oh, yeah. You said which leg? The other front leg. Okay, that front well, leg's broken leg's then. Broken so what? That leg's broken now. Oh, nice. <laughs> it collapses <laughs> in. And, and the whole body kind of like shifts forward now and like almost falls in on itself so now the body itself is within melee range Aha. so the front two legs are down yep awesome all right hey that'll end my turn all righty tulip it's your go oh shit so it is okay let's see I'm gonna do a thunder wave on uh one of the legs that's being attacked. Uh, I'm not sure which one. <laughs> I don't know how many are being attacked right now. Two of them. Two oh, of, one them? of them, I think. 
Only one of them now, because the other one oh, yeah. busted. So the only one up right now, or the only one being attacked right now, has the Drow and Mizuki in front of it. All right. Well, she's gonna like give him a little warning before she casts it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thunder hey, look out! Uh, let's see. It needs to make a save. Is that a Constitution? Oh, wow. Never mind. I'm not using that dice anymore. <laughs> Do you want the again. ones uh, that you gave me back? Well, it would be nice to have the player killer dice back again. No. <laughs> Don't give those back to him. <laughs> so, uh, I have a really quick question. Mm-hmm. The uh, spiritual weapon, it says it lasts a minute. How many rounds would that be? Ten rounds. Ten? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And does, that does not include the round that I uh, cast it on? Does not include the round you casted it on. Awesome. So Continue. this is uh, essentially round three. So you have... I, I start round three. Yeah. No, you started or round I... three. Oh, so... okay. Never mind. When it's your turn again, it'll be round four. Yeah. All right. Okay. Tula, Go ahead. Anything else you'd like to declare? Uh, bardic inspiration on the drow. Okay. Uh, Fetner's turn. Uh, he is going to uh panic for a moment. It's like, uh, I really hope that worked. I think I have another spell. Yes, and he's going to cast uh. Lightning bolt again, uh, and this time he's aiming for the main body. So, not using you, you bad, bad dice. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Disadvantage plus bane. Yeah, never mind. It's eight d six again. <laughs> Woo! How man, man, level is Cutner anyway? Just... Oh my goodness. 86. Wouldn't you like to know what level he is? I would. All you need to know is that he's a bard. Well, let's see. What level can bards learn lightning? <laughs> <laughs> see, 10, 20, 27 points of damage to the body. All right. And uh he is then going to cast healing word uh on himself because he is currently injured. All right. Just going to make a note right here. Of who's almost dead and who's not. Alright. Now it's the Dralos go. He's going to do his two attack thing. Yep, that'll hit. And that'll hit. Alright. Uh, so that leg that you guys have been working on is now destroyed as well. Sweet. Nice. Okay. So, that's three legs down. And the, uh... Whatever this thing is, is still spouting insults about how it's going to, you know, <laughs> devour your bones. I'm laughing. <laughs> Kiata, Because Because I'm the only one that can understand it. Yeah, to the rest of you, it's like this... <laughs> You're not sure what language it is, but it is unnerving to hear it. Okay. You just, like just hear Mizuki on, on the other side. <laughs> Pointing up at him and laughing. All right. Uh, that hatch that had the little furnace in it is closed now, isn't it? Yes. Quick, when it opens again, throw a bomb in it. <laughs> Legend of Zelda logic.
I'll stop interrupting now. No, I think I know what he's thinking about doing. All right, so you said it is closed? It is closed at the moment, yes. Dang it. Why? Because <laughs> um, maybe I wanted to put out the fire? Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a um, uh, Druidic craft, isn't it? Yep, or Druid craft. craft. Um, I, you know what? Actually, I'm going to ready an action for when the hat opens again. I just snuff out the flame. I, I will say that Druid craft would let you put out a small flame. Is this it okay? This fire is bigger than that. All right. I wasn't sure how big the flame would be, so never uh, mind. I won't do that. I I will be nice and say, from what you can see of it, it's like a large furnace in there, like big enough to fit a person. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so there's one more leg that's not being attacked right now. Yes, uh, the front, two, the both fronts, and one, I'll say the left leg is down. So there's still the two back ones, two middle ones, and one right leg still up. But at the moment, the body itself is within me melee range. Um, I'll take three strikes at the body. All right, so all three are going to hit. All right. That one. That one. As you're punching this, you you are definitely, you feel like you're punching uh, obsidian stone. Ouch. So, like, your your hands feel kind of like you just punched solid brick, and you're not used to it. Yeah, he's just gonna shake his hand off, like... <laughs> he's just gonna look up at it for a second. Oh, alright. see. <laughs> it's going to get back up, and it's going to make a attempt to break out of the entanglement now. Plus Bane. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to use its other being action. A bard. <laughs> it's going to use its other action, and it's going to open up its uh its furnace again. And let's see, who is it going to target? Oh, it's the drow. Drow needs to make a save. Ooh, wait, he has party inspiration. Oof. No. <laughs> the drow suddenly uh goes noodle arm and starts walking towards the uh towards the furnace and is scooped up inside of it. Oh. Oh gosh. And then you start hearing screams again. No. Oh. Mizuki. Yo. Just eat it. Like <laughs> no, I can't. Eat the bottle. It it might be a little too big for her to eat. Yeah. All right, so I. You have to unhinge your jaw a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> More like a lot of it. I can give her a couple days. And I think she can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one piece leg. by piece. Maybe one leg in a day. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go with the scythe. It has advantage still. Damn it! Oh. The scythe is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When you use it against Scarecrow Jack, it was putting in business, but I know. Yeah. But right now, it's worthless. All right, I think next that's leg. Because in that fight, it had to prove it was the better scythe. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Hammer hits. And you're attacking the next leg? Yeah. The uh, third leg on that side. The third leg on that side, okay. Muzzle tough. Anything else you'd like to declare? Uh. Let's see. Was it a bonus action for the uh, spiritual weapon? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do, do, do. I'm done. Okay. Mute. What up, dog? The leg right. that you punched has become crumbly and has disappeared. Well, not disappeared. <laughs> it's, it's no longer a thing. Yay. All right. All right. But... So basically, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna get in front of its face, and you know, about ten feet away, and I'm just gonna start hitting it with radiant sun bolts. All right, you can do that because that is within your range. Yes. So. So you're aiming for the body? Yeah. One, two, who? Jesus Christ, wow. rolling fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Please roll high. Not bad. Damn. Not bad at all. <laughs> 30 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah, you definitely pissed it off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then I just start talking shit. I'm just like, hey, you want some more of this? Yeah. <laughs> Busted your legs and your face. What's up? <laughs> oh, Tulip, your go. Um. Hmm. I wanna. Mm -mm. Okay, is cutting words a reaction? I uh, believe so, yes. Okay, because it doesn't say. Uh, let me double check for you. Oh yeah, you can use your reaction. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for a another hit with my short bow. Alright. On um, one of the legs. The one that's already being attacked, or what is the other front leg, or the front right leg that's still up? Uh, one that's being attacked already. Okay. Give me some damage. Four. <laughs> oh, we're, we, where's the lightning damage that's supposed to roll with that? I just realized that. Um, good question. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, roll uh, another 1d4, please. That's supposed to be rolling with that. And shouldn't she roll for the other one she hit with, too? I don't think the first one rolled with... Oh, yeah. The you... either. Uh, I'll just use the two from that from that onwards, so that way we're going to have to fix that sheet, though. All right, so that one's definitely not looking good. Good. You guys are picking on poor old Boss Weber. Uh, um, anything... poor old? <laughs> <laughs> he is old. Uh, I'm going to do a healing word on... Whoever's looking rough. Uh, who is looking the roughest currently? That's not an enemy. Um, I don't know what everyone else's health is at. Well, I'm at twenty three out of forty five. <laughs> uh, Nobody I else is saying anything, so I'm healing my turtle dad. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm yeah, good. I'm doing good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the uh, two of them made their save, so... Okay. Two. 
All right. <laughs> you add your modifier to it, so that's plus your charisma. Oh, then plus five, I think. So, seven. Yeah, seven. All right. Okay. Fenders go, and he's going to be like, well, I'm out of third-level spells. Uh, so how about we have a little bit more fun? And he's going to cast uh, Cure Wounds and Healing Words, because he's, you know, he's like, you know, everyone's looking a little, uh, just a little rough. Mm-hmm. So, right. let's see. He's going to choose Mute and Kiata, so... Kiata, he's going to give you a D8. So you're going to get back uh, 9 points of health, and Mute, he's going to give you Healing Word, and you get 8 points back. Sweet. Gesundheit. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and that's going to be his actions. The drow, uh, let's see if he's able to get out. No! That's an out one, so he's taking... Uh-huh. He did as oh, fuck. Poor guy. Like... Yeah, the screaming just suddenly stops. Poor guy. Oh. <laughs> Too little sad. What is your decision, Kiata? Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> yes. Um, because the drow died. <clears throat> Tulip, what do you have for health? Um, thirty-four of forty-five. Otherwise known as. She's a little rough, but mostly okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said 34 out of how much? 45. You have the same hit points as me? I guess so. <laughs> All right. Oh, how much damage is that? 11. Mm-hmm. She's pretty much fine if you wanted to do something else. Nah. Uh, you're back up to full. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I can get two attacks in. Still. Alright. Uh, cause flurry of blows. Uh-huh. Uh, all right, you can't hit its body anymore, so I'm gonna put that towards one of the legs. Which one do you want? The one that's being damaged, or one of the other, the other front one? Uh, the one that's being damaged. All right, give me some damage. All right. Okay, so Kiata comes up like a boss, <laughs> and just gives it two solid punches, and that leg just buckles under it. Uh, Please. let's see how well. No, and then uh, goes over yes. and he to it. <laughs> I was about to say he 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 has got like one leg left on that side. Yeah, he he falls over on that side now. I so. always forget I can replace one attack in flurry of blows with a healing hands. <laughs> so pop pop touch. <laughs> it's how it's how my teachers used to be, you know. In the middle of them pummeling you, they'd heal you at the same time so they could keep pummeling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is... Actually, because it just fell. No. It's it's not getting up. But it is still going to make a breath attack. Uh, uh. And it's going to try. Uh, so I need dexterity saves. Oh, boy. Uh, do we get advantage on that, or...? You do get advantage on it. 
Hey, oh, not <laughs> Again. 16. Wow. Nice. Oh. And Fettner's. Yeah, he's fine. So does it just go for everyone, or is it just people that are in front of it? It goes for everyone, because what he's doing is he's essentially spraying it down, and it's blossoming it out. Okay, I got Now you. he's on his side, it just pretty much, all of you are still technically in front of it, so he can only, yeah. you know. So the furnace opens again, and this wave of fire just bursts out. <laughs> it looks like all of you are able to, you know, not get burned to a crisp, so you guys are going to be taking half damage. All right. And what is this half damage? Uh, un momento, por favor. And I take half again. Yep. You take double half damage. <laughs> <laughs> double you half. Three fourths damage. <laughs> I mean, one no, fourth. A fourth. A fourth, A fourth of damage. Yeah. So half of 24 is 12. To everyone except for Mizuku, who takes six. Six. Uh, and it does not have enough time to produce a Skelly Boy on this turn, so. Uh, I don't want it to produce a Skelly Boy. <laughs> no Skelly Boys. Actually, it just uses right. Breath Attack again, so I need to make another check. Yeah, go ahead with your turn, Mizuki. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start oh. on the I'm body. Okay. Okay. I think Bane is still. No! Going. Oh my god! The scythe is worthless! <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. Hammer time. Don't touch me. <laughs> Can't touch me. <laughs> Eleven damage. You shouldn't Don't touch it. Touched me. <laughs> uh, Eleven damage. Alrighty. That's it for me. All right. Mute. All right. Um. Question about his um his uh smoke breath or whatever it is. <clears throat> okay. So it's coming fire. from his mouth. Oh, it's yeah. fire. Okay. So it's coming from his mouth. Or is it coming from the chest cavity? It's coming, it's coming from what could be considered a mouth. It's a opening at the base of it that leads directly into a furnace. Okay. And he is no longer on the ground, or he is still on the ground? He is still on the ground because he is lopsided. Okay. He's now, sideways. Here goes, dollar, here goes the million dollar question. When he blows out this flame, is it getting on his own body? Yes, but it doesn't seem to be hurting him. Okay. Hmm. What are you thinking? Well, I was going to try to climb on top of him and start attacking him. Oh, uh, you can but... get onto a side of him that's not catching on fire. Okay. So if it's there's a side take... that's not... Just smash the vent in. <laughs> <laughs> As a tabaxi with very good climbing, I, I was going to try to do that. Yeah. You know, just make an acrobatics or... Yeah, make an acrobatics check to get up there. Okay. Acrobatics. Nice. Yeah. You're up there. Why does, why right. does he always roll so good? Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. You jinxed it. You jinxed it. It's going to fail now. All right. Yeah, you're, um, up, you're up on top of it. All right, I'll go for some more radiant sunbolts. One, two, all. Oh, you still have advantage because it's technically all prone. still hit. Oh, yeah. nice. All right. Blam. All right. All righty. God, that is damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> All right. Tulip, it's your go. And from what you and the rest can see, that flame on the inside is starting to dwindle out. Like it's not producing as much heat anymore. Good. 
I'm gonna go vicious mockery. <laughs> You're going to diss a de uh, an old god to death. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna try. <laughs> and I think she's gonna say something along the lines of, why don't you go pick on someone your own size? Oh wait, that's why you're down here, because everyone thinks you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suck. You suck. You're the suckiest. <laughs> of course, all you hear is... <laughs> and I hear that I'm like, oh, buddy, you were so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Guild saves. Because of Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Bane oh, and Entangled. Oh, it's so man. beautiful. Bane, oh, Bane on top of Entangled, where every time he makes a check to try and break free, Bane, and he fails. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much! Oh. You, gotta, you know what we gotta do forever now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Uh, Fetner, uh, he's going to, uh, kind of like, it's, it's like, shit, I don't know what to do. It's, it's like the I, team Anthu combo. Vicious mockery! Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, he's going to use vicious mockery as well. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to say, my lord, you're so old. I think, think I expelled you from my ass last week. <laughs> Five points of damage isn't too bad. And of course, the save. Tulip, Tulip, and Fetner gotta do like that fist bump, you know, after like dissing somebody as a group. <laughs> <laughs> and he passes the save barely, even with Vane. But still. Oof. Still. Oof. Still. It... Oh. The fact that he barely passed. <laughs> yeah, the fact that he barely passed because stupid pain. Rap battles, but it's just vicious mockery. <laughs> oh. Rap battle to the death. <laughs> oh god, a bard fit like rap battle oh. would be. Oh, you mean the bard at college? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the drow, well, he's dead, so I don't even know why he's still on this. Kiata! <laughs> By the time it gets to your turn, that, that flame has definitely dwindled inside of it. Can I use Druidcraft on it now? You got a good feeling that you can. <laughs> then I'm gonna snuff it out with Druidcraft. Alright, so let me make a percentile check. <laughs> You have succeeded in snuffing out the flame. And Mizuki, you heal you heal. You hear the wailing of the voice swearing vengeance and how it will turn no matter how much you try to destroy it. And then the outside of the chess piece starts to grow cold. Can we kill it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes! Yeah. Combat's over. Woo! <laughs> I love Druidcraft. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys started doing damage to the body, you were doing damage directly to the furnace, so... Mm -hmm. Alright. Mizuki looks up at her scythe. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> it disappears. Like, it, it kind of like... Does that thing where like the, the side the droops and then, and then it disappears? It's like, oh, poof. Oh. <laughs> Are there any parts of his body that <laughs> I can pick off? Uh, you're pretty sure you can like pick up uh shards from either the leg or from the body that have fallen off. Just like these stone, <laughs> almost like the size of arrowheads. Huh. All right. Well, I'll just take Tulip's some gonna... of them then. Oh, you're gonna take some, some up okay. too. Tulip could yeah. have some obsidian arrows. 
Yeah, she's gonna hey. pick him up. Okay. Not gonna say no. Um, as you kind of like peer inside the furnace, there are you know the skeleton of the one individual, the one drow permanently burned to death. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's writing mm -hmm. all inside, but it's in a language none of you understand, except for me. And hey, what's it say? You're cutting out, my dude. What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the inside. You guys peer briefly inside of the furnace and see there, you know, the the remains of the one drow burned to nothing but a charred skeleton, and that there's writing on the inside of the furnace. Uh, it's mostly in this old dead god language that only Mizuki understands. And so it's not celestial. It is not oh. celestial. <laughs> and when she looks at it, she, you immediately know that if you were to read what's out loud, or even attempt to, the hatch would close and start it all over again. Can I read it to myself? Like, in your mind? Like, quietly? Yes. But you know if that, you that's said what it I out mean. loud? Yeah, I'm, I don't want to speak it out loud. <laughs> I don't want to go through all that again. No. Yeah. So, you think what happened is one of the one of the drow read it out loud, and when that happened, everything else happened. Mm. So it's basically something that summoned it to be to life again, I guess you could say. Yeah, it, it pretty much it reading it out loud to, essentially declares yourself as the sacrifice. To Got it. Oh, okay, I understand. Uh, can we get rid of the writing inside? Not that you know of. Mm. Fetner, on the other hand, what? he's not going in there. He he just like he stands not far from the entrance. He's like, I'm not going in. There. Yeah, yeah, no, dude, you can stay out there if you like. Uh, no, I'm not going. Him. And she like motions to the drow on the ground. What'd you say? We should. Bury him or something. I know I wouldn't want to have him stuck in a weird giant god. <laughs> you know what? I'll help with that. The further away from this yeah. thing I am, the happier. Mm. Kiara will help. Where are we going to bury him? Anywhere but here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we have something to wrap his bones in. She can use her cloak. If you want you guys to. Have... Yeah, I was going to say, you, you guys a... technically have Regnus' bed sheets that he left behind. <laughs> 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 Do we really want to use that? That's up to you. He's not here. <laughs> but do you really want to use that? Well, I'd rather use that over my cloak. <laughs> Alright, let's use it. <laughs> Alright. So you guys. Oh wait, um, no, no, I, I, I got it, I got it. If are we burying him? Just where are we burying him? That's not next to the dead god. Not. So next I'm guessing closer to the road. Sure. Yeah. Okay. To get him out of the the crater that we're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Kiara will help carry him. Away from the dead god chess piece. Yeah. Well, he said and, that, like, that he's just bones now. Yeah. The flesh and muscle is it's all gone. Mm hmm. We can all pick up a couple of bones each, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You guys are overthinking this. You guys go and you bury his ass by the tree that Fetner tied the horse and carriages. <laughs> or Atlas and the horse and that stuff next to you. That's just fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one that digs the hole. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so after burying him and everything, Fetner, you know, he kind of like gets back into his seat, like on on the uh, the back of the cart, and he kind of like looks out at the you know the tipped over. Uh, chess piece, and he's like, 
I never want to see that again. Just Mizuki hops up on the cart, stands on the seat. I guess if there is a seat. Um, yeah, it's like the and... uh, the covered wagons from like uh, Oregon Trail. Yeah, uh, stands up on the seat and just flips it off. <laughs> Fuck you, Weber. I really just want to have the vine from Entangled just pull it underground. <laughs> yeah, pull oh, it into the man. Underdark. <laughs> uh, I will say that, like, over time, you could probably have it do that. It won't do it immediately, but over time, it could right. pull it underneath. Yeah, do it. Bury yeah, the bitch. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, don't want anyone tumbling upon it. No, mm -hmm. exactly. All right. So, so you keep guys... the vines like centuries around it, so anyone that gets near it just gets swatted away <laughs> by. It. No, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> no, you no want this. All right, and that's no. where we're going to end that session. The session for today, where you guys are back onto the trail to Holsta Ford. All right. So I, have, right. I, I have a question. I have an answer. Maybe. Was it Abyssal? I'm trying to look at my notes real quick. Because I don't think I used Abyssal for the old god language. Yeah, I did. Um, it, it's Abyssal. Okay, I was about to say, because if you didn't, then I would have not known anything.